okay good day to everyone so this is our first pre-recorded lecture uh, actually we already have a quiz with regards to the chapter one wherein we talk about the uses of statistics in the different field of discipline particularly in the field of economics and business now I, as you remember in our quiz that there should be a computations with regards to the frequency but I forgot to attach the file so that is why I move uh, I omitted that uh, items and plan to uh, include in our pre-midterm exam so I have to start my video here please look on the example of Hudson Auto Repair. So presented in the problem here, the manager of Hudson Auto would like to have a better understanding of the cost of parts used in engine tune-ups performed in the shop. She examines uh, 50 customer invoices for tune-ups. The cost of parts rounded to the nearest dollar are listed below so as you see from 91 71 until to the last of 73 these are the cost of parts so how are you going to compute the frequency of this based on the class and how are you going to to compute the class interval Okay, now we need to compute the, the frequency for the cost of parts. But first thing that you're going to do is to determine or to decide the number of classes. Let us say, for example, in our Hudson Auto Repair, the manager or the owner of the, the repair shop uh, conclude that uh, uh, there must be uh, six number of classes from 50 to 59 until 100 to 109 how are you going to compute the interval or the range of each class therefore what you're going to do is you need to determine the largest data value the largest data value of the given cost of parts so in our example the largest data value here is uh what do you think let us see is 100 109 number 109 109 yes there is a 109 and uh, 109 and the lowest is 50 okay so what you're going to do is you need to subtract the smallest value from the largest value so the largest data value is 109 minus 50 which is the smallest data value divided by the number of classes in which you have to decide which is uh, 6 based on our example okay based on our example we have six classes 59 50 to 59 100 to 109 look at the row data again the highest make a review the highest is 109 and the lowest is 50 look by 50 okay no the lowest is 52 I found 52 here okay so 109 minus 52 then the difference should be divided by 6 the 6 is the number of classes Spillerman 109 minus 52 divided by 6 is equal to 
5 or round it up to 10. Therefore, the range that you're going to make from the 6 classes is 10. So, kita na to from 50 to 59. Start with the 50, then 51, 52, 53, until 59. There is a class width. Get mo na sa gitawag o class width of 10. Ang anong start man ka o 50, nga ang pinaka lowest is uh, 52 man. So, what I'm going to do here is you must have to start with the bottom. Here, 100 to 109 from the highest, which is 109. Then, count backward until 10. So, mauna isang range is 100 to 109. Then, palo na ka, 99. Pilaman ka, kuan, backward up to 10, 90. Then, 89, 80. Then, 79, 70. 69, 60, 59. Tungod kay, di man ka pwedeng 52 because the rest width is a uh, 9 ang isang isang range. So dapat may uniform siya. So you have to uh, continue until mahimo siyang 10. You have you will not have to stop to 52, but you need to stop to 50 because this would equal to the rest of the class now the next move in order to count the frequency is you need to count the different cost of parts sa 50 to 59 pila man ka buok sa cost of parts nga mi fall ani nga maong range so atong ihapon na ay 52 o oh, Unsa pa, 52. Oh, tabang tanaw na 57. So, duha. 52 and 57, mauna si Zay nakabutang diha nga 2. This would means that from 50 to 59, there are 2 cost of parts that fall in this range. 50 to 59. So, with 60 to 69, pila sila ka buok may fall aning nga range. So, with the 70 to 79, 80 to 89, until 100 to 109, which is na ay lima ka buok. Lima ka buok. Imo nasang ihapon from the raw data. So, nakuha na na to ang frequency. Inikihap ni mo si Jackie na hanglan nga mo equal na sa number of raw data. Kung yung equal, it means nga na akay nalipatan. Okay, from 2 plus 13 plus 16 plus 7 plus 7 plus 5 is equal to 50. Kay 50, mani sila kabuok kining, kining nga parts nga atong ipakita diri. Okay, 50 customer invoices. Bonus siya atong ipakita. So, it means that you are correct kaing abot man yung frequency of 2. Again, from 50 to 59, duha ka cost nga may fall aning ding tapita until to 100 to 105, lima ka cost of parts nga may fall ana nga based on the given raw data. Okay? So, next is to compute the Percentage frequency, or how are you going to compute the frequency? The percentage frequency, of course, it is simply you have to divide the frequency for the first class, which is 2, divided by the total of 50, then multiply by 100 is equal to 100% is equal to 4%. Okay, then 60 to 69, 13 divided by 50 times 100% is equal to 26%. Okay, 16 divided by 50 times 100% is equal to 32%. 7 divided by 50 times 100% is equal to 14%. And 5 divided by 50 
times 100% is equal to 10%. If you have to total the first class width, which is 4, 26, 32, 14, 14, plus 10, this will sum up to 100%. Oh, it's very simple on how we're going to compute the frequency and the percent frequency. So what is given that there must be a row data plus the approximate class width na imong ikuan, imong i-determine. For example, kung gihatag sa atong problem nga 6 dapat ka, ka uh, classes ang imong himuon, so that would be your denominator for the difference between the largest value data minus the smallest value data okay okay let's proceed to chapter 2 chapter 2 so now in zoom notes din ha only at chapter 2 about descriptive statistics the tabular and the graphical methods this is all about uh, the presentations of the gathered data the presentations of the results of your gathered data in a form of a tabular and graphical method so we're going to present the summarizing of qualitative data summarizing quantitative data the exploratory data analysis the cr cross tabulation pero kung siguro na naapil ang cross tabulation and scatter diagram let us see later as we go on with our powerpoint okay let's start with summarizing qualitative data this is all about the uh, presentations re referring to frequency distribution the relative frequency the percent frequency distribution the bar graph and the bar chart. I think you are familiar with the others. Okay, let's uh, do it one by one. Let's go to what is a frequency distribution. So a frequency distribution is a tabular summary of data showing the frequency katong atong mga example or number of items in each of several Non overlapping classes. Diba? Na, what man to say, like overlap from 50 to 59, 60 to 69, until 100 to 109. Suno, suno, just And then, the objective of frequency distribution is to provide insights about the data that cannot be quickly obtained by looking only at the original data. Kung atong, imagine, katong raw data, atong natanaw nga. 50 from 91 tagsa tagsa ko to 50 ka buok mas madugay whereas if we have a frequency distributions we have go directly to the total number of frequency for each category so sa qualitative manta mingon ta nga mingon ta nga pila man ka buok ang pila ka buok frequency o pila ka buok ang kuan nga has a poor rating mm. or below average so dali ra ka adyo na to ma-determine diretso na katanaw sa frequency ah usa 50 o sa 20 ka buok usa ra jud excellent ngano man ka ha although siya ka buok ang above average pero ang average lima and then na jud poor duha what is the difference o oh, add mo concentrations dali ra ka adyo ni mo determine ah maju di ay kay Ang, ang trabaho una ni is kanang duhara ka buo kay aron ang poor bisan o ako ni siyang tutukan maajo basing mahimu ni average in the next month and at the end of the year mahimu na ni siyang excellent so that's very important nga mo have to uh, look directly to which of the uh, frequency ang pinaka gamay kay ato imo i-focus so that is uh, the objective is to provide insights. What would be your insights if in any nga maong resulta? Okay? Dali ra ka adyo. So, muna say frequency distributions and then percent frequency distributions. Of course, 
you need to compute into percentage. Diba nakita itong kanina na frequency, percent of percentage in anak raka simply. No? Okay, baho na taan na kung saan pag-compute sa percent frequency distributions. So, discuss mo na na ito sa itong first example. Then, bar graph. Diba? Mas dali naman ka dito basahon kung diritsyo raka sa graph ang imo kung ano. Di na kasi kuti na makuan imong mata. So, a bar graph is a graphical device for depicting qualitative data. One, on the horizontal axis, we specify the levels that are used for each of the classes. A frequency, relative frequency, or percent frequency scale can be used for the vertical axis. Using a bar or fixed width drawn above each class label, we extend the height appropriately and the bars are separated to emphasize the fact that each class is a separate category. Naara na na. Mungkin awan ha. Nampak tak? Example. Ulo. Na naara bar graph. In ani ang hitsora. So sa atong presentations in a de de ah sa frequency sa poor di ba duha. Sa below average, hay naman to, nawa, o below average, o pinakabok until napunta sa excellent na usa. Mas dali rang imo pag uh, basa and then you can uh, immediately uh, give your insights with regards to the presentations. Di napaka mag gamu ang imong mata. So inana ang bar graph. Then, pie chart. Diba? Kaya ba mo anong pie chart? The pie chart is commonly used graphical device for presenting relative frequency distributions for qualitative data. First, draw a circle, then use the relative frequencies to subdivide the circle into sectors that corresponds to the relative frequency for each class. Since there are 360 degrees in a circle, a class with a relative frequency of 25% would consume when 25 times 360 is equal to 90 degrees of the circle. Sa hitsura ni, watch out. In ana ang hitsura sa pie graph. Gibahin-bahin. Pila mo ito ka buok? Poor. You have used the percentage in making or in presenting the pie graph. So, sa mas may nindot katong bar graph or pie chart. So, depende na sa imong presentations. What is important nga masabtan si dya. Okay? Hmm. Dere. Dere ang mga insights. Example na to ha. Insights gained from preceding pie chart. One half of the customers surveyed gave Marada a quality rating of above average or excellent. Looking at the left side of the pie, this might please the manager. Bitaw. No. Kung above average o ang excellent na aman dyan siya sa katunga. No. For each customer who gave an excellent rating, there were two customers who gave a poor rating. Looking at the top of the pie, this should displace the manager. So, mali pa yung poor ang rating. What? God said, no. It's not pleasing to hear. It's not pleasing to see. So, dali na kaayos yung makahatag o insights through a simple presentations of a pie graph. So, well, the bar graph. Okay? Hmm. Summarizing, let's proceed to summarizing quantitative data. Na, kung na ay, na ay frequency distribution si quali, na po si quanti. Na si relative frequency and percent frequency distribution 
dot plot, histogram, cumulative distributions, and the OG. Okay? Oh, na, na, na po, balik na po si Hudson. The manager of Hudson Auto Repair would like to get better picture of the distributions of cost for engine tune-ups. Tune-up parts. A sample of 50 customer invoices has been taken and the cost of parts rounded to the nearest teller are listed below. <coughs> okay, the frequency distributions, there must be a guideline to follow. Use between 5 and 20 classes. Data sets with a larger number of elements usually require a large number of classes. Okay. <coughs> so, uh, smaller data sets usually require fewer classes. Mm. Ang, ang larger number of elements sa maghimo pa ka o fewer ka ng kuan La, uh, smaller number of classes na ang naghanak ka adso kang class number of classes ang mahimo which is the di maadyo you need to match the matching approach okay <coughs> okay there are guidelines of selecting width of classes that ang giingon largest data value minus the smallest data value divided by the number of classes. Okay. So, nakita na to ang Okay, let's continue. Okay, uh, for frequency distributions, pariha na gapon sa atong previous nga example, using the Holson Auto Repair, nakuha na to ang atong class width, which is 10, nakuha sa 109 minus 52 divided by 6, which is if we choose 6 classes, this is equal to 9.5 or round it up to 10. Therefore, we need to count the frequency of 50 to 59. The discuss naman na ito giyon sa pagkuha sa nganong 50, no? Ganina, nganong giyon sa nisi dyan, nganong di man 52 nga 52 man ang pinakagamay. So, we want to have a Uniform interval. Kaya ang atong uban from 100 to 109. This is of uh, 10 man po atong approximate class width. Kinanglan nga mabut po 10 ang 50 to 59. Kaya kung 52 to 59, wala man siya kabot ang 10. So, therefore, using the Hudson Auto Repair, from 50 to 59 ay frequency of 2. 60 to 69 a frequency of 3 until 100 to 105 na frequency of 5 a total of 50 so the same procedure rajud ang frequency distributions of a quality and a quantity okay now the computations of percentage no computations of percentage with regards to the relative uh, frequency and percent frequency distribution okay as you notice the column for relative frequency and the column for percent frequency it is just the same only is that in relative frequency it is expressed in a decimal point two decimal places and in percent frequency, it is presented in a percentage. So, ang pagkuhaan ni eh, sa 50 to 59, 2 divided by 10, uh, no, 2 divided by 50 times uh, 100% is equal to 4% for the percent frequency. And kini sa relative frequency, automatically, we have to divide 2 divided by 50 is equal to 0 0.04. So, pariha na sila ang process. Although, sa percentage, in express that sa percentage, ang answer sa relative frequency is to be multiplied with 100% to make it into a, a percentage a presentation. Okay?
Okay? Ang uh, karang usa, in decimal point, ang usa in percentage. So, nakuha. Automatically, ang frequency, number of frequency for each class, mo ay mong numerator, o ang imo denominator is the total number of frequency, which is, in our example, the total number of frequency is 50. Okay? So, in ana ang paagi, although sa percent frequency, i-divide na to o 100% ang relative frequency aron ma-express na to into a percentage. Okay? Insights gained from the percent frequency distribution. So, atong nakita diri na only 4% of the parts costs are in the 50 to 59 class. No. So, 30% of the parts cost are under 70. Diba? Nakita na to ang uh, under 70 ang ang 30% makuha na to in between this one din na sa 69 62, 69 and 70 to 79 that is our conclusion so the greatest ang pinakadako, the greatest percentage which is the 32% or almost one third of the parts are in the 70 to 79 class however it only 10% of the part cost are $100 or more. No, so nakakuan ka dahil dyan sa imong insight to the presentations of uh, relative frequency and percent of frequency distributions. Okay. Um, that plot. So many that plot. Plot kuno, one of the simplest graphical summaries of data is called dot plot. A horizontal, a horizontal axis shows the range of data values. Then each data value is represented by a dot placed above the axis. No, naman diha. So unsa ning nasa ubos? Makita nato ang ang cost, which is uh, range from 50 to 100 and then imo determine kung pila ang frequency for its cost naman na i-arrange naman to ni mo ang kinindat kinang lang mo abot ni sa og 50 ka buok ito nang tono na ni mo imong price ang 91 diyan dapita imong banabanaon ang 94 ang 52 so inana maglaray si jang dang dapita so muna kita wag o dot plot i-plot na mo in a form of dot ang different cost with regards to your spare parts sa atong example no muna si dot plot histogram okay we have to differentiate histogram from uh, bar graph no, ganina nga. Another common graphical presentations of quantitative data is a histogram. The variable of interest is placed on the horizontal axis. A rectangular is a rectangle is drawn above each class interval with its height corresponding to the interval frequency, relative frequency, or percent frequency. Unlike a bar graph, a histogram has no natural separation between rectangles of adjacent classes. What? No, sikit sikit si Zaf. Pari ka raon tan isi sa bar graph, although ang paragraph lag jo man, but for the histogram, nag sikit sikit si Zaf. In this particular histogram, ang atong gigamit diri is the frequency and the cost of the part. Yung mas nit man tan aon kung in any emo presentations. Ayun lang, you know? Okay. Mm. Napoy kita wag og cumulative distributions. Okay? Cumulative distributions, uh, cumulative frequency distributions shows the number of items with values less than or equal to the upper limit of each class. Uh -huh. Uh, cumulative relative 
cumulative relative frequency distribution shows the proportion of items with values less than or equal to the upper limit of each class. Cumulative percent frequency distribution shows the percentage of item with uh, values less than or equal to the upper limit of each class. Okay, take note. Take note class, naghisgot diri o upper limit. Look in our example here, the cumulative distributions. Nakita mo less than or equal to 59, less than or equal to 69, less than or equal to 79, 89, 99, and 109. These are the upper limit. Diba? 50 to 59. The 59 is the upper limit. Therefore, the 50 is the lower limit. This is a katawag. Oh. 50 to 59. 50 is the lower limit. And 59 is the upper limit. 60 is the lower limit. 69 is the upper limit. So, ang gamitong sa cumulative distributions, we need to use only the upper limit represented by lesser than or equal to the upper limit. So, nakaibaw naman ta sa frequency for 50 to 59 is 2. No. 50 plus 59 is equal uh, 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 the frequency is 2 and then ang frequency sa 60 to 69 is 13. Ganong 50 may nakabutang diha. Therefore, 13 sa frequency of 69 to 60 to 69 plus the 2 maunang nahimong 15. Imong i-add si Jack from the previous. Okay? So, pila naman 2 plus 13 which is the frequency for 60 to 69 is equal to 15. Okay? Then, 15 plus the frequency of 70 to 79, which is 16, is equal to 31. You go back to your uh, example. Nga dito na to. Na ito frequency sa frequency distribution. Tunao ninyo, ang frequency distributions aron makakuha mo sa hongi pang isgot dire. Again, sa next is Less than or equal to 89 is ang um, isang cumulative frequency is 38 because we add 31 plus 7, which is the frequency distributions for 80 to 89 is equal to 38. Ah, and then 38 plus the frequency distribution of 90 to 99, which is 7. It's, it is equal to 45 and the last one the frequency of 100 to 109 is a uh, 5 45 plus 5 is equal to 50 therefore it's correct because our total row data is 50 ng abot man sa katapusan nga less than uh, less than or equal to 189 ng abot ang atong community frequency of 50. So, ipang-add na itong mga frequency from above. Uh, frequency gikan sa 50 to 59. Then, i-add sa next frequency. Ang next frequency na po sa next class until such time that we end up to the last class. Mauna to atong kinahanglan mo insakto sa total number of row data. Okay? And then, nga rin na po ta sa cumulative relative frequency the same procedure although you are using it uh, you are using the the relative frequency in a decimal point the same procedure ipang add ra gihapon balik mo sa inyo relative frequency example balik ka dito o balik ko Mm. And relative frequency example kana si ang 0 0.04 0 0.26 0 0.32 0 0.14 
Aha, ada mento. Point fourteen and then point ten, and it are not as a cumulative frequency distribution, ha? And it add to na nato. Okay. It add to na nato. Ato na tong i pang add the same with the cumulative frequency. So sa first row, kining Less than or equal to 59 nga cost is 0.04. Mamat yung nag-una. No? Mamat yung sasay nag-una. And then, sa nga rin sa 60 to 69, pila man ito isang relative frequency. It is 0.26. Therefore, ang nakabutang sa lesser than or equal to 69, ang relative frequency, cumulative relative frequency is 0.04 plus 0.26 mo equal to 0.30. Kita na ito ang 0.30, no? Okay? Next, next, sa 79, ang atong relative frequency at ito is 0.32. Ang 70 to 30, 0.22. Therefore, 0.32. 26 plus 0.32 ano 0.30 0.30 naman ano 0.30 plus 0.32 ang relative frequency sa 70 to 79 is equal to 62 okay and then the 62 plus sana po na sa og 0.14, which is the relative frequency of 80 to 89. Balikan nito sa tungo pals ng mga kung anin cho. Mahimo na po si Zhang. 0.62 plus 0.14 is equal to 0.76. Okay. Then 0.76 plus 0.14 again. The relative frequency of 90 to 99 is equal to 0.90. Okay, then 0.90 plus 0.10, so the real cumulative relative frequency is equal to 1. Kuha, i-add, add raman ito ang imong relative frequency from the first class to the second class or the third class until to the second. 6th class. So, the same is true with the present frequency. So, 4, ang una sa, uh, sa 59 is 4, then 69 is 30 because ang atong present frequency sa atong sa 69 is 26 plus 4 is equal to 30, then 30 plus 32 is equal to 62. 62 plus 14 is equal to 76. Then 76 plus 14 again is equal to 90 until such time that we end up to 100%. Therefore, our cumulative distribution is correct. Kay Migawas man ang 100%. Okay? Ang OGIB, kung sa mani OGIB, OGIB or OGIB, OGIB is a graph of cumulative distribution. The data values are shown on the horizontal axis. Shown on the vertical axis are the cumulative frequencies or the relative cumulative relative frequency or cumulative percent frequency. Pili ra ka. The frequency of each class is plotted as a point. The plotted points are connected by straight line. Okay, nara. Kita naman tayo no. So connect naman niya to sa sub. No, so it's very simple. Kaniyang explorer tu, wala naman niya ng appeal no. Okay, I think we have to end up here. Ang atulikas ng kita as nakajo in yung paminawon. This is the last. Coverage, kini atong OG with community present frequency for 
your pre-med exam. So your pre-med exam is test 1 is true or false in the model and test 2 is a computations uh, I think I hope ni si Zang Himuan, among Himuan o Google Classroom para actor mo mo turn in sa inyo uh, computation nga submissions for the test 2. I think that would be all. So if you have questions, you must have to post your questions on our GC and wait for my partner announcement with regards to the schedule of our exam for the part 1 and Another announcement nga ang i i butang sa inyong GC kung nakahimo na ko Google Classroom uh, you need to prepare a Gmail Gmail email ad no in ana na laban siguro aron mas dali ni join in makita na og 15 wa nakasubmit maka check ra ko diretso kay sa email na na email in in, in email si kuan karon sa di magkadungan whereas kung ato sa Google Class sumakit an man junaw ang time kung kanus amo nag email okay that would be all and thank you.